hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys what's up and now in this video we are going to start the episode 3 the final episode of life is strange before the storm so let's see what's gonna happen and see this cover picture guys it's totally uh, that forest which was on the fire I think so so it is very nice so let's see what's gonna happen here we have our characters Chloe Price and Rachel Amber so let's do it wait it's saying continue because as you guys know if you see my last video it just started so that's the reason it's saying continue but I did not play any part any single part so otherwise I'll restart the game guys Uh, maybe it's better to restart it. Okay, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, guys? And here we have started the gonna happen in this one. So let's see, guys, what we are going to say in this one. Rachel Amber's a real mother. Anyway, it'll be one previously on Life yes, is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. There we have stopped. So, let's say what's Gonna happen now. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife, and your mother, but the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened? I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. This? Everything I've shielded you from for so long, but the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. Maybe you can handle this. You 
can handle this. Not without you. Okay. in high school there was one person well it's everyone flashback. her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long Who are they? Wait, uh, what is that meeting? Okay, it's scholarship. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Okay, parenthood. Sarah became pregnant I thought it would solve everything and it did wow see how For a little cute while. oh I think becoming she is Rachel. your father it's the greatest moment of my life there was so much love but I was still blind okay what's next Decent. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made Watch. myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was, a destructive person, someone who could never be satisfied by anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. Okay, uh, what is that? A reunion. What did we do? Reunion, okay. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel? It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. 
Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Not, um, or why, who says it's your decision? Why not? Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We are the Tempest Gaspari. I already texted Rachel like 18 times. Hey, I don't think we are making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did answer us, babe. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can't, but you totally saved us. We thought you there would have been no show. Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Okay, we'll see Rachel by going upstairs. Episode 3 L E M T I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Okay. Be here for Rachel. Well see every single thing from this 
Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Yep. Nice. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Oh. What is this? Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Too uh, alone. ...of a wonderful daughter on the night of her first show. Break a leg. We love you, mom and dad. Okay. That's awesome. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Mm. Cool light. Let's turn it on. <sighs> wow. This light needs more light. That's nice. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Uh, should we turn off this lamp? Where's my other thing? Uh, let me check. Needlepoint. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. What about this? We were so close to making our break last night. Now. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to do uh, what is hey, this? you always be safe. Sure. But from who? But from who? Oh, may you always be safe, love dad. Let's open it. Well, first aid kit and like stuff. Well, we can take it. Uh, we can use this for that cool lamp or something. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case if you don't have your keys. Please come home, doesn't matter that it's after cool for you. Mom, I can't right now. Please. Okay. Maybe I can use this for this flashlight. Whoa, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Let's open this up. What can I do it in the I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. Wow, A, 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 A. That's nice in every single subject. What I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Planner. Hey, what is this? It's a rose. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. What about this? Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Books? No, I don't want them. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. A map. And a few pictures. Okay, uh, let's do this as stars.
Hey. Check it out. Wow, it looks awesome. It's pretty awesome. Beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Guess I've had a hunch. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. Still beautiful. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? <sighs> it's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life, my dad, <laughs> my mom, if I can even call her that anymore, and that other woman, my real mom, she's Sorry. the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'm honored. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. I don't want to listen to any music. The fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? I don't know. Honestly. I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Uh, I've got an idea. I I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? We'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Um, I've got the one too. I think I can handle that. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. Whoa. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? It doesn't matter. 
After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Okay, fine. That's good. interested to say how this game will end wow that's awesome wow again Chloe's father Chloe's dad oh I think it's the car like there's the crow Oh my god, all of all the characters that we saw. I think we're Main stuck. Characters. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Your memories or my memories? We never... That wasn't... you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? His dad is uh, teaching how to repair a car. I think. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Nothing here. I can't see. Like anything. what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? I said it's not the spark plug. Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. What he said, uh, the world World's a stage. Something for it. Maybe the world's a stage. Something about the whole world being a stage. So 
Might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. That truck is coming. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh, no. Dad! See that blood? Oh, my God. What? What is that? Boo. Oh, this is her room. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Eager much? So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I am helping a friend. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, better to t not tell about a friend. I would really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... That went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Great. Oh, thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? You kick ass. Okay, that. Also, we are meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yep, I'm still at my house. Just showering, then grabbing tools for his truck. So meet at junkyard. Uh, I'll be there. You're amazing for your price. Nice. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Okay, she need to bath. Or is bathroom? One break. Huh? 
Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Okay. What? If what? Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Uh, maybe let's water this plant. Uh, better than nothing. Uh, what's about this? Uh, no, let me see anything more which we can use. There is nothing. What is this? Report card. Let us see what's Chloe's grade. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Oh Did you see that? It's C D C D C. A lot far there from the Rachel's grade. Hey, here it's a class photo. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Okay, um... Okay, it's better to take your... Without any... Without wasting any time. Is... Mom playing music? Huh. From Victoria? So I was right all along, Rachel Amber is fucking evil bitch. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel guys, what's up? And now in this video, we are going to start the episode 3, the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. So let's see what's gonna happen and see this cover picture guys it's totally uh, that forest which was on the fire I think so so it is very nice so let's see what's gonna happen here we have our characters Chloe Price and Rachel Amber so let's do it Wait, it's saying continue because as you guys know, if you see my last video, it just started. So that's the reason it's saying continue. But I did not play any part, any single part. So, otherwise I'll restart the game. Guys. Uh, maybe it's better to restart here. Okay, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, guys? And here we have started the gonna happen in this one. So let's see, guys, what we are going to say in this one. Rachel Amber's a real mother. Anyway, it'll be one. Previously, on Life yes, is Strange that's... Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, 
don't open the door. I want my fucking money! Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall wait all. I don't think so, this music will be there or not. What do I feel like wearing on this crazy ass day? Skull, bonus outfit, dragon, and bonus outfit. Uh, let me try every single thing and let me decide. The first is skull. This is a skull. It's similar to Rachel's cloth. So let me try one more. Bonus outfits. Oh, there are a lot of things. Uh, we already tried that illuminate. So uh, I'll try try the hard doing man. This is also nice. Let's try more. Maybe this dragon will set, so I'll wear that. So, um, okay, this look nice. This looks so. Let us wear this. All right. One last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Okay, we need to go downstairs. There it is. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid Mom or David? Okay, we are doing pretty well, guys. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. Hey, who's there? Hey. <laughs> Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. I'm not 
staying long. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. Hanging out with Rachel. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe. I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I... owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait, one second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been meaning to show you something. Maybe, maybe now's a good time. This is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was killed near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you. Give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Think about what I've said. Accept David's offer. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Okay, fine. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom. I really need to go. 
Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Is this the storm? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here. Oh quick. yeah, it's the garage. Actually. Holy crap! This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck. with me here. Can salvage this beast. I just need to find the. What is that? Chloe, this is David. Did my mom give you my number? Yes, she did. I noticed you took your father's toolbox. Are you working on a project? Sort of. What kind of project? Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Well, I'm glad to see you taking an interest in something. Keep that. Oh, thank you. Right tool for each problem. First one is check something. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. Okay, we need a wrench, so... I need a wrench. Oh yeah, I have it. I can definitely not help it. Or in the toolbox, maybe. Maybe I can do it with the pliers. Let me try. Wait, we can. St oh, let me try with pliers. Ah, we can do. It. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. Next, what's that problem? The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Okay, we can use the uh, screwdriver maybe. Should help keep shit distributed. Nice one. Well, oh, fuck. I don't know. 
Wait. Ah, I don't want to read this. Let's reattach. Go back from whence you came. Next. Radio cap. What did this do? thing seems pretty gunked up? I think I should move on to something else. Okay. What is this? It's pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Maybe I can use the wrench. Wrench it. <sighs> Much better. Fuel filter, check it up. This thing is going to the fuck up. Let's blow it. Blow. Maybe. <gasps> oh. Oh goodness. Sick. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. I think we need to get some parts from that broken car. Let's try. Oh, she's doing that. See that again, fire guys. Please, I need you. Wow, it's working. Yeah. There is the bag of uh, which Rachel gave us. Hey, junkyard queen, where are you at? Hey, holy shit, your hair. It's so... <laughs> badass. <laughs> exactly. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? 
It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? I don't have it. For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Whoa, what's gonna happen now? Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy. But that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you. But he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay. Then let's talk. I want to know right now. Why you give a shit about this woman? Uh... Why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Because... Fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon. Your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? Who cares? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one oh is God. the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Ah! Ah! Uh, 
Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel guys, what's up and now in this video we are going to start the episode 3, the final episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. So let's see what's gonna happen and see this cover picture guys, it's totally uh, that forest which was on the fire, I think so. so is very nice so let's see what's gonna happen here we have our characters Chloe Price and Rachel Amber so let's do it wait it's saying continue because as you guys know if you see my last video it just started so that's the reason it's saying continue but I did not play any part any single part so Otherwise, I'll restart the game, guys. Couldn't slot. Oh, uh, maybe it's better to restart the game. Okay, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. What's up, guys? And here we have started the gonna happen in this one so let's see guys what we are going to say in this one Rachel Amber's a real mother anyway it'll be one previously on life yes, is strange yeah. before the storm I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while I just I didn't know what it was <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around what does that mean you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho Damon Merrick. I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? Uh, to scare us I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? He wanted dirt on you. Rachel got angry. It was 
it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. I. Uh... She was preventing me to, um, like, you could have helped us. If you let her meet Sarah in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try something more desperate. There are many things I wish I'd handled differently. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something. But when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then, we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What about Sarah? What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this? I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Okay, uh, out of water, okay. What she's doing, can I check? No, I can't enter there. I don't want to waste my time, let me go. I think this is the room. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. What's there to do around here? Hey. Just heard the fire. Those Where's guys the look exhausted. Out. You mean it's controlled? No, it's completely out. It's poster, it but I don't want to see it. Speak with Rose. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. 
I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. It's gonna I'm sure everything's fine. going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I don't know about that. We were lucky. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Okay, here is Rachel's... <sighs> I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Okay, we can't really can't wait to see her. Why has Let's my see. son been assigned to you? I never authorized that he be seen by you. I was assigned because Nathan was becoming quite upset. So they sent a psychiatrist. Because my son was upset. <sighs> Holy shit. Please, Mr. Prescott, your son needs serious psychiatric... My son needs nothing from you. He put down a couple of people who on. were harassing him. You're still around. We are in room 785 in case you forgot. Cool. 785. That is all. Sir. It's 780. It's 81. Everything about this fire has been atypical. It's 83. No are you sure you I hope done? Drew's doing better. I should visit him. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. Uh, well, nice meeting you. Well, it was nice meeting you. Likewise. Oh, excuse me. It's okay, it's a sandy five. Let's end her. There it hey. is true. You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. Sorry. One day, huh? How's your knee? How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. You should try it. I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have to think about it. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? I'll be more careful. We have our own problems. Oh, no. Somehow we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. 
I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. We don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Let's leave. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Boy. This is Miss Rambo. Rachel is just waking up now. I'm sure she'll love to see you. Thanks. Uh, I think Rachel's room is there. Yeah, this one I think so. I'll continue in the next one. I'll continue in the next one. So thanks for.